Hi, this is Steve. I'm going to go over the Starlink Go Box. This is a 12 volt box that will run. Everything you see here will produce an internet connection high speed via Starlink um, out of this box. Plus, right here, I have a battery pack. This is the, I'll get this out in a second, but that's the Starlink antenna and the cable. Um, so let's open up the box and take a look really quick. So, what we have here. On, on this side over here, we've got an SAE power connector. We'll connect that here in just a second. We bring 12 volt power into the system there. It goes into the Blue C distribution panel. And from there, we bring 12 volts into this box, which is the meanwhile uh, DC to DC converter. This is the DDR120A48. And that sends 48 volts out to the power over ethernet injector. So what we have here is a power over ethernet injector from uh, Dishipower. You can go to dishipower.com. I'm not associated with them in any way, but um, they make a fantastic little, little uh, power over ethernet injector for just this type of setup. Um, and so what we have on the side over here, if we come around to this side, we've got a Nutrix uh, Category 6A. Uh, it's called an EtherCon connector. And I'll show you that here in a second when we plug the dish in. But essentially that gets routed to this little, um, the, the port to the dish. And then here is another connector. So it does the internal cr pin crossings here for three and four and five and six. It does that pin crossing here. And then this is the WAN cable out. So this is providing a signal into this little guy. This is, this just happens to be a tiny little portable, uh, they call it a travel router, but it's got some really cool functionality that's much, much more functionality than what you would see with um, something like the Starlink, uh, you know, Wi-Fi. So you can do VPNs from this guy. He's got, um, I have it in, it's loose in here because I can deploy this up higher if I need to. All it takes is a five volt, uh, five volt in. So that's what this other little connector is. This is taking 12 volts and it's down converting it to, to five volts to run the uh, type C connection there. So that's, um, that's what we have there. So that, that can basically be taken out of this box and put up it higher if I want it to, or moved around. I'm probably just gonna stick this down with some double-sided tape for now. Um, it actually has pretty good range with these two little uh, Wi-Fi antennas here. So it runs uh, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz as well. So that's the box. Um, let's look at what it looks like when we, when we deploy it. So let's come over here and I'm gonna, Put that lid down. So in here we have the the custom cable that I made. So on this end, it has the standard um, funky little proprietary port that goes into the Starlink antenna. And on this end, this is what I was talking about before. This is an EtherCon connector. Connector. It's it's a semi waterproof connection that forms a really good uh, connection into the side of that box, where it's got um, some waterproof features for it, and it's all, it's also very durable. So that's that's the nice thing about that. So here we have the Starlink antenna base. And the Starlink antenna. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take that proprietary end, I'm gonna plug that into the bottom of the dish. I'm gonna mount the dish here. And I know for a fact that this will get a Wi-Fi signal because I've used it in this location before. This is, happens to be in my backyard. Okay, now, next. Next, we're gonna take the EtherCon connector, like we showed here. We're gonna plug that into the side of the box here. 
See if I can hold that there. I'm trying to do all this video one-handed, it's a little bit challenging. <laughs> okay, so once again, uh, Nutrix EtherCon to the dish. So that's the wound around cable going into the dish there. So this will provide 48 volts once this guy's powered on. Um, this will send 48 volts through that ethernet cable. What we're gonna do here is we're going to plug in, set this up here. We're gonna plug in 12 volts of power here on the side. And let's get this out of the way. And over here, we're going to, these are Anderson power pole connectors for those of you that might know ham radio and power poles. They're fantastic little connectors. Now we're gonna power it up. So I just hit power. So now we're, we've got 13.1 uh, volts going there. And that is, powering up so we will let's see it's at six minutes right now i'm probably going to just leave all this connected and we'll just kind of let the video roll and i'll probably fast forward it through here we can kind of watch the watch the dish do its little magic and i'll come back and wrap this up There you can see the dish is flattening out. It'll flatten out, and I think it just tries to pick up a GPS signal right here. So now it's working on acquiring a GPS signal. I'm using my phone to record this, so I can't go into the app right now, but what I'll probably do, now I think I'm just gonna let this run until I see that the dish has turned itself, and then we'll check to see if it's got connectivity. Still in the process of acquiring a GPS signal. We're nine minutes into this video and gonna let it work a little bit longer here. I'm guessing it's gonna be three or four more minutes before the dish will turn to the northern sky, which the northern sky is facing this way. And you'll see the dish rotate down and then the dish will have acquired the right positioning that it likes to see. All right, 11 minutes, 38 seconds into the whole video. Um, now it's moving. Now it has acquired, well, we're, I'm gonna go in the app here in a second, but it's positioned itself to the northern sky now and everything should be up and running. Um, I think I mentioned I'm recording this on my phone, so I need to switch over and check out the app. And um, anyway, that's, uh, that's it. So once again, this is um, this is the 12, 12 volt Starlink Go box. Uh, this was built. I should mention probably this is built from a, an Apache case from Harbor Freight. It's got on the base here. It's just literally just a Farberware cutting board, <laughs> and I just bolted everything. Uh, put bolts through this to bolt it, it's got padding underneath it. And if I ever wanna upgrade it or take it out or modify it, I can do that. I have the same setup basically replicated in, in my travel trailer, so it's pretty slick. Um, all I need to do to deploy it in my travel trailer is just use the antenna and the custom cable I made. So pretty cool stuff. Y'all got questions, just you find me on, um, on Facebook, or Instagram, it's Steve A. Rogers, and that's Rogers with a D. So it's S-T-E-V-E-A, like my middle initial, Alan, and then Rogers with a D. All right, thanks, y'all. Have a great day. Bye.